Hello everyone. Are you ready to learn about statistics? What is statistics? To gather, review, analyze and draw conclusions from data. That is statistics. It has two further branches. One is descriptive statistics and the other is inferential statistics. What is descriptive statistics? Descriptive statistics use the data to provide descriptions of the population either through numerical calculations or graphs or tables. Descriptive statistics further has three types. Frequency distribution, dispersion of variation, and central tendency. What is central tendency? Central tendency is a summary of a data set through a single value that reflects the center of the data distribution and it calculates the location of the central point. Like this, it moves towards center. How can we measure central tendency? It is often called averages. Central tendency is a descriptive summary of a data set through a single value that reflects the center of the data distribution. It has one center only and the data circulates it. Pictorial representation of this data could be if we have three values in different stacks like this we have three different stacks and we are converting them into equal level that is what we call central tendency measures of finding central tendency using different methods you can use mean median or mode Mean basically means average. Median means midpoint. And mode is the most frequent number. Let's just first discuss mean. What is mean? It is also called the expected value or average. For a data set, the central value of a discrete set of numbers. That single number that determines the central location of a data set. Let's suppose we have few pencils and they are distributed in different stacks. One stack is of six pencils, other stack is of 11, 11 pencils. Then there is one more stack that is of seven pencils. Now what if we wa want to equal them or changing them into equal stacks like this eight eight and eight. That means that the central tendency is eight and both of the sides are having sum of 24. How can you find mean? Let's suppose you are having data set like this and you want to find its mean. What you are going to do your first step will be finding the sum of the numbers. You are just going to add all these numbers. 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2. And its sum will be 30. You can represent its sum with the sign. Sum is equal to 30. Then after this, your step number 2 will be counting how many number of values are there. Let's count. It's having six values. So count as six. Then your last step, your step number three, will be dividing the sum by the count. We are having our sum 30 and we are going to divide it by six. After dividing, we will find our answer that is five. 
median what is median well the middle value in a data set that is arranged in ascending order if a data set contains an even number of values the median of the data set is the mean of the two middle values basically is the middlemost part of the data set it may have three numbers below it and three numbers above it and the number left between them will be our median it can be in graph as well if you have you're having different graphs and is divided by a number that will be our median now how can you find median let's suppose we are having our data set like this step number one will be arrange the numbers in ascending order smallest to biggest then after, after arranging them in ascending order start cutting out numbers from extremes like this cut out the most extreme numbers first then the inner one then inner one and then you will see that only one number is left between number left in the middle will be our median so in this data set our median is 5 now wait what if there are two numbers in the middle what can we do then well let's see here we are having our data set we are first going to arrange the numbers in ascending order that means smallest to biggest then again start cutting, cutting out numbers from extremes now you can see two numbers are left in the middle now what to do well you can take average of two numbers left in the middle I hope you know how to take average we are going to add these two numbers and then divide it by 2 so 5 plus 6 will be divided by 2 that means 11 by 2 and our median will be 5.5 that means 5.5 is the middlemost part of the median as you can see that if we observe these two numbers 5 and 6 we know that the number 5.5 is coming in between 5 and 6 so our median is right facts about median if your data set is having odd number of values there will be only one number in the, in the middle so, so you can count your numbers in the data set if they are 1 3 5 7 9 11 that means your data set is having odd number of values so you will have only one number left in the middle but if your data set is having even numbers of values there, there will be more than one numbers in the middle that can be two so what you are going to do you are going to add them and then divide it by two so first whenever you see a data set and you want to find its median you will look at the number of values if they are even numbers you know that you have to have to take average and if they are in odd numbers you know that only one number will be left in the middle part and that will be our median mode let's discuss what is mode well it is the most e easiest one most frequent value the number which is repeating itself most often data set can have more than one mode well let's see if you are doing a survey and you want to see that how many kids are lying in this age and you are count counting them well let's see how many of them are coming in this age yes as most most of the kids are in sixth category or of sixth age then that means the mode of data set is six because most people are lying on this number so mode of, of this data set will be six well how can you find mode there are a few steps step number one again arrange numbers in ascending order that means smallest to biggest then you have to make a group of repetitive numbers if any number is coming more than once that means you can group them up and then that will be your mode most often number occurred will be mode but wait what if there are two or more numbers repeating itself then what can you do you are going to follow these steps you are going to arrange them first 
then you are, you are going to make groups of repetitive numbers and if there are two repetitive numbers that means this data set is having two modes that is 4 and 6 but if any number is coming three times that that means that number is going to be our mode the number which is coming most, most often will be our mode now which one is more accurate mode is the only central tendency measure for categorical data median median works best with ordinal data mean is regarded as the best measure of central tendency for quantitative data well that means whenever our data is divided into categories we are going to use mode and if our data is an ordinal data that means it's arranged in an order that means we are going to use median to find central tendency and and if you are having quantitative data then you should use mean i hope this video will help you to understand about statistics let me know if you have any question about it in comments and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel goodbye everyone